everybody, this is Gedar Nagayan, and today I would like to explain the same thing, only in a different programming language called App Inventor. App Inventor is made by MIT and is free. Also, a lot of fun, and guess what? It's block based too! Ready to get started? Let's go, baby! So, the first thing I would like to explain is the screen. You see, it has a background. It's called Gaydard Bananas, named after me. And the screen orientation is normal in everything. But what I want you to look at, the background image, bg.png. How do I do that? So you just click in and it will give you these multiple options that you put in upload file choose file and then when you choose your file just click ok <clears throat> so now i'm gonna explain the health arrangement you see here the height is automatic and the width is automatic meaning they're both normal i didn't put any image for this I just put text in it. And the background color is cayenne. So basically a health arrangement is something that helps store something, okay? It's called a horizontal arrangement and you find it in layout. I renamed it by pressing this button over here called rename. <clears throat> so, now I'm going to go and show you my labels. So what's a label? Well, a label is basically a name of a text. Like you have here health, for example. That's a label. It has a text, okay? So we're going to call these health label and a health count label. What's the difference? The health label I put in this horizontal arrangement, and I've set its text to health. The health count label is a zero you see here. It helps keep track of what I have. So I set the text to zero. And we're doing the same thing here, only it's bananas and candies. So now you see here, I have a canvas. A canvas is the space that you can put things like characters in where you basically play the game. <clears throat> and what you see is you'll see my characters, my candy corn, my monkey, and my banana. Now you'll see a button arrangement. Now it's a, it's a horizontal arrangement too. It's what you see down, down underneath the canvas. So I'm setting this background color to default, which is the normal. The height is automatic, but if you see here, the width is fill parent. Fill parent means it's, a, it's bigger than automatic. And I'm not giving it any image, and this is visible. So inside this button arrangement, I have some buttons which you get from this user interface, the very first one you'll see. This is the left button. If you see here, I set its text to left and the font size is 14.0 and I've enabled it. So what does enable mean? Enable, enable just means that it can act and do stuff. Because if you don't enable it and it's invisible, he could still go and hit the monkey and stuff. So you want to enable it and the code will enable it. Um, so that's this. The width, height and the width are automatic for all these buttons. And I've set the text here to left. This is the restart button. It's what we use to restart the game when the time goes out. And this is our right button. Now I'm gonna show you I have some clocks. This one's the delay clock. 
The delay clock is used in a function I made in the code called wait, which is what does the random seconds. It helps the program wait for the banana. And I've set his timer interval to one thousand, and the timer is not enabled. Here, it also isn't enabled, but instead, it's the banana clock, and the timer is five thousand. So here, what's the difference? The delay clock actually is for every single character and stuff. The banana clock's only for the banana. Then I have a text to speech. It's what helps the thing say things like "Whoops, you're dead," or "Hi, what's up." It's what makes the phone talk. Candy corn clock is the same. It's and an, it's not enabled, but it doesn't always fire. And the timer interval is five thousand. Then the timer clock. You see here, it looks a little too much. It's a hundred and eighty thousand. That's three minutes. And what does this interval mean? To timer interval, when you set it, it doesn't go by seconds. It goes by milliseconds. Milliseconds are like tinier than seconds. Sixty thousand milliseconds makes a minute. So that is what you will be seeing, and that is what is in our code. Thanks, everybody.